On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you six tips and tricks on how to fix those doors that don't want to latch, just like what you see here. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to tips and trick number one. As you can see here, here is one of my door strikes and let's compare it with another door strike where the inside hasn't been fully relieved. There's a piece of wood that still is blocking the way of that latch so what you want to do is if if you have this problem this is the easiest one that you could ever do before you try any other uh, method that i show you today try this one first what you're going to do is you're going to try to relieve this use one of these chisels or if you have a dremel tool any type of grinding tool will work here just a simple chisel inch and a half chisel will do the trick just chisel that extra piece out and maybe that will work but let's get to tip and trick number two if that doesn't work what you're going to do is you're going to observe where that uh, latch is going through your strike so if you look in here you see the indentation where that latch is going through it is actually striking right below the the strike level right there so we're going to move it down just a uh, an eighth of an inch down use a straight edge and just mark where you're going to be relieving that metal you can take out this strike or you can just leave it on what i'm going to be using is my dremel tool and you can use one of these cutters i highly suggest you don't use this because it's it's a wide diameter so if you try using that while it's on you're going to end up cutting everything around it including the door jam itself so i highly suggest you use one of these tips right here again all the tools that i use in this video i'll leave it in the description down below but here's one it's a good grinder for um that you can put on your dremel and you can just cut away wood and it cuts metal as well and it's actually really fun using this and you might get carried away because of how easy it is to cut and you're just going to take your time and try to grind off as much of that excess metal on that strike okay so you're just going to go back and forth take your time and you're just going to shape out and grind off what you've marked and at the same time you're going to grind off that wood inside of your door jam as well so that your latch can go inside there smoothly okay so once you get that done just go along each one of the edge and try to make it as square as possible go and vacuum out all the excess dust and whatnot and go do a good cleanup and that should fix the problem that's tip number two okay so if that doesn't work let's get to tips and trick number three you're gonna get a straight edge and you're really gonna mark down just a little below the strike this is a little bit more complex a little more steps but if the other two doesn't work this is pretty much gonna do the trick Okay, we're going to go and mark about an eighth down, depending on how low you want to go. We're going to use our chisel and we're going to start chiseling away all the excess on the ones we marked. Once you get that down, take off the excess and we are going to go and take out the strike itself. You can use your screwdriver. These are only three quarter inch screws anyways. So once you do that, take out the strike and we're going to finish off and smooth down the area with our chisel so if you have your half inch chisel your one inch chisel that will do the trick but with the point of this is you're going to level it out so that your strike will be flush with your door jam we're going to test it out in and out so test it out put it in put it out just when you get the right position that you want once you do in this case i have a little bit of extra that i want to move this the uh, strike a little bit forward so i'm gonna have to relieve a little bit of where my finger is at right there i'm gonna use my dremel tool and just gonna grind away all that extra stuff so that i can move that strike a little more forward okay once we get that grinded again test fit it as you go and then we're gonna put back our um, strike in there once you get that in and it's positioned of where you want it now you have these two holes what we're going to be using are toothpicks if you have a toothpick a matchstick you can even use uh, extra bits of pieces of shims and we're going to go and stuff that in that hole in this case i'm going to be using my cutter i'm going to be leaving about a half inch away or if you have enough power you can actually shove this all the way through i'm not that strong so i'm going to be cutting and i'm going to be pounding it with my hammer so that it's nice and snug in there and we're going to repeat the same thing on the bottom hole as well what you're going to do is take two um, toothpicks cut it as you go and then we're just going to hammer it and make it tight 
and then we are going to put place back our strike now you can use a drill to pre-drill the holes but in this case uh, it's a very soft uh, door jam so i'm not going to be drilling i think it's totally up to you but for me it works as well just put it in there and it's going to go screw right in anyways with that being said, right when you screw this, there's still going to be that excess. Just like tips and trick number one I showed you, there's that excess. We're going to grind that off with our Dremel tool. Again, if you have a file, if you have a chisel, you can use those tools as well. I just like using my Dremel because, again, it's so nice. It's fun to use, and it just is so fast to, to grind it out, and it makes it look a lot nicer. Once that's done, you're going to be left with that little gap at the top. You can use any type of wood filler. This one's by Elmer's. You can even use by one by Min, uh, Min Wax. Those are the two parts where it hardens quick. Um, again, I like using this trick with my razor blade. Uh, these are... I use this as a, so, some some sort of trial, a mini trial. Instead of using a big trial, this is our easy per position work. And we're just going to level it out. In this case, I'm not going to sand this for you guys. Uh, you kind of get the picture of where I'm going. I'm not going to show you that process. If you want to show, if you want to know how I do this uh, detailed work, I'll leave a uh, video at the top right on how I fix damage um, uh, door jams, just like those these tiny work. But once you get that done, that latch should go perfectly inside that strike and again let's get to tip and trick number four again this video clip right here is i'm using it from my past uh, video where doors won't close it's the same type of method but we are going to take off the pin on the hinge okay so the hinge pin we're going to take it out use a nail use a mini screwdriver and we're going to pop that uh, hinge pin right out of there so what we're going to do is we're going to fix the sag because sometimes your door sags lower so that's what's preventing the strike to even or that's that's what's preventing the the latch to go inside that strike so with that being said we're gonna even out the door make it straight once again but here i'm using two shims and i'm forcing it all the way up so i can have that nice gap even gap all along my door so that latch would go even throughout that um that strike now that you see here you see how uneven that that hinges what we're going to use is an adjustable wrench and you're going to take the unevenness of the door uh, hinge and you're going to pull it just a little bit so you can be straightened out with the, the jam hinge as well. So you're going to try to make this all even up. Okay, so you're going to press a little bit. You don't want to put too much force, just enough so you can move about an eighth or sixteenth just so enough that you can make it straight. But then again, right after you make it straight, be careful because you don't want to slip that wrench and damage your door. Once you're done straightening it out, take your pin, put it back in, and tap it back in. That easy, friends. And once that's done, take out your shims, and it should close right not, um, really well, and that latch should match perfectly with your strike. And that should be a fix as well. Now, let's get to tips and trick number five again. You want to double check the screws on your hinges, okay? Make sure that none of them are loose. Sometimes these are loose, just like what you see here. And you want to replace that. And you want to tighten that screw down again, just like what we did with tips and trick number three. And we're going to fill it in with some toothpicks, okay? We're going to fill that in with toothpicks so that we can make this nice and tight. And we're going to sink that or we're going to suck that door back outwards so that that door will be nice and aligned so what you're going to do is you're going to take um toothpicks like what well, again these are magical tools right here simple but yet effective you're going to put it right inside that hole one two three depending on how big your holes are but you're going to put it in there just snap it right off you can even use the back of the toothpicks for more mass and then you're going to just snap it up and down to you know to, or you can just use your cutters but this way is the easiest ways as well. Now these screws that you're putting back are three quarter inch uh, long screws. So, you know, you can replace it with longer ones. But if you have a hollow door, that wouldn't matter anyways. But this three quarter inch hole after you put that filling in there should tighten right back up. And uh, make sure that you assess and observe every one of these screws in these hinges to make sure that they're all nice and tight. Again, this is just one uh, scenario and again this is another tip and trick right here take the screw out and you're going to put in um, a longer screw to suck that door back out there okay we're going to replace it with this one i'm using is a two and a half inch screw uh, this is a general purpose screw and that's one tip and trick as well okay so tip and trick number six this one is my last resort friends if you can't 
move anything else this is kind of like tip and trick number three where we kind of like take off the strike but instead of that we're taking off the hinges and we're moving everything down now i don't suggest this method unless you really have to but this is pretty much you're taking everything out you're just gonna chisel it out i'm not gonna show you this i'm just showing you the concept but we're going to move everything downwards by chiseling and moving everything downwards. If you're going to be going to the door jam method. But if you're going to move everything from the door side, you are going to mark the top part. Okay. So vice versa, if you want to move the, the hinges up, you're going to mark down. If you're going to want to move the door down, you're going to mark up. So vice versa of where you want the door to go, depending on where that latch, where that latch you want to go meet up with the strike okay so just try to gauge it it's totally up to you either up or down again friends that's all i have if you found this video helpful please hit that big thumbs up press that subscribe notification bell and i'll see you in the next tips and trick video thank you once again